So in this video, we are going to set up the MyStudio VS53. Uh, this is a newly upgraded version of the VS53, which features LED lighting uh, versus the old fluorescent lighting. This is the largest studio that my studio makes. It's a 53 inch wide backdrop that's eight feet long. So it's a large sweep. Uh, I'm gonna show you what's in the box and then we're gonna go ahead and show you how this all gets set up. Now one thing that uh, also comes with the VS53 is a pair of these AL2 accent lights. But there's a separate instruction sheet for these in another video so make sure you check those out and set up the AL2 accent lights separately. Right now we're just gonna do the VS53 uh, photo studio. All right, so everything here on the table is what is in the box that makes up the VS53 Photo Studio. Uh, first off, we've got the white background sweep, which is a 53 inch wide by eight foot uh, straight sheet of uh, polystyrene that we've had made uh, with a matte finish, so it's very low reflectance. We've got the uh, ultra bright LED lights. Now these lights each are 48 inches wide and they put out over 2000 lumens a piece. These are actually not bulbs, they are bulb shaped diffusers. The LED strips are inside and then the bulbs are the diffusers and this housing help diffuse and spread the light out. So they're awesome lights. Um, we've also got uh, the crossbar. This is gonna go across the back and the um, background sweep is gonna clamp across the top of that. Uh, down here we have all the parts to make the uh, stands. So we've got four of these legs. They're all identical and four of these feet. Um, they're identical as well and we're going to show you how those get put together and the orientation and all of that. We've got uh, the background clamps right there. Uh, over here these are the light brackets. So these are going to attach onto the light so that they can then go onto the light stand. Um, so two for each light. We've got all the nuts, bolts, thumb screws, things like that. Uh, and then these are the only tools that you're going to need to put the VS53 together. A 7 16 inch nut driver is my preferred tool and a flat screwdriver. You could use a 7 16 uh, wrench or a crescent wrench. This really works the best. So we're going to get started, uh, put this together. Okay, so we start with the feet and the legs. So as I said, all the parts are identical, so it doesn't matter which ones you start with but it's important uh, the orientation that you set these up with. And by orientation, I mean which direction the flange is, which way the feet go, etc. So basically, the easiest way to think about this is that you have a left foot and a right foot. So if my light stand is facing this way, I've got a left foot over here, right foot over here, the feet always face out towards the outside. And the flange, this is the flat part, um, always faces towards the camera. So. Basically, what I'm thinking of right now, this is the left foot. So I want the flange to face towards the camera. Um, I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to put it, I'm going to leave about two, one to two holes. Let's go with one hole in the back. And we are going to use the quarter 20 inch screws. Just get that through the hole, get the hex nut on it, and do it finger tight is fine to start with. And then we're going to do the same thing with the second hole. All right, so this is the left front leg. That's going to go on this side of the studio. Uh, and this is the light stand in the front. So we've got the left. Now we're going to go to the right. So again, this is going to be on the right side. I want the flange facing the camera. So I'm going to flip it this way and do the exact same thing. All right, just like that, we have made the front of the light stand. So basically it's gonna be like this. And now we're gonna set up the rear stand. In the back, uh, the stand is gonna face this way. So the right foot and the left foot are like this again. And again, we want the flat side of the flange facing towards the camera. So. This is gonna be the left back one, so I want that facing the camera. Again, we're gonna leave one hole in the back. All right, the last one we're gonna do is the remaining foot on the back, so the foot is facing out that direction. Again, we want the flange facing the camera. 
and we'll put it in the same position. All right, and that is it. So we just want to kind of keep those straight. These ones go in the back. These ones are going to go in the front. So next thing we're going to do is put the light brackets on the lights. Okay, so we're putting the brackets on the lights. I've already done one light, so this one is finished. I'm gonna show you how I do that. This is what it looks like when it's finished. You got the brackets here, the thumb screws in the back, and they're just attached here with hex nuts. So really easy to do. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, just on either side, you want the, um, the holes facing out, the bracket like this. So the first one we're gonna do, just put it through the hole right there. Go ahead and just do it finger tight. Actually leave it a little bit loose on that first one because you may need to slide it back and forth just to make it fit in this other little hole. Uh, once we get them both in there, we'll tighten it just a little bit more. All right, so they're both on there. I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, nut driver. Just tighten it down. All right, that's it. And we flip it around. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So both lights are ready to be mounted already. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, right now we are gonna assemble the back, the stand that holds the background. And for that, uh, we really need to use two people. So we're gonna use Tyler, who's been our cameraman. Okay, so we're back. This is Tyler. Uh, he's gonna help me to hold this uh, Hold these up together while we put the uh, background crossbar on the legs and the feet. So you wanna go ahead and put yours up too. Basically, um, this big flat side is gonna go at the front and it's gonna be flush with these flanges. And you're just gonna have uh, the two bottom holes on here match up with the two top holes here. And we're gonna use the black thumb screws and uh, just attach it on there. All right, nice and snug. Now we're going to unroll this uh, nice big sheet. And basically you wanna make sure that it rolls out the way that it, it's rolled because one side is less glossy. You don't want the glossy side in front. So it should be on the bottom. All right, so we've got this rolled out. We're going to now um, clamp it to the top. So basically you just wanna come flush with the top, put one in the middle. and um, put one about a foot down here, maybe 18 inches down. And basically, um, the size of your sweep is up to you. Uh, generally, a, a larger curve radius will light a little more evenly than a tight one. So the next thing we're gonna do is bring the light stand, um, legs and feet to the front, and hang the lights. So before we hang um, the lights on the stand, we wanna make sure um, which side we have the light. Um, and basically the cord comes out of one side. So you want the cord to come out of wherever you have the power. So uh, my plug is over on this side. So we're gonna have both lights with the power cord on this side. Um, we'll plug it in later. Uh, you want the feet again facing out. Flange is facing towards the camera. You wanna to refer to your instructions as far as where to position these lights on the stand. It's hard to show you doing this, um, but there's basically three positions that you can hang the light. That's why they're, they're just different angles. That's why there's these three different holes so the light actually can swivel. Uh, we're going to hang, um, position the light in the middle position. That's about a 45 degree angle. It's kind of the best kind of default position. So basically we're gonna get that front bottom corner in that middle hole on the second one down. So we're gonna put two lights, we're gonna put one here, and then we'll put one on top. So we're gonna do the exact same thing with the second light in the top position. Again, we're gonna put that uh, in the middle hole on the bottom. And that's it. All right, so I've got the AL2 accent lights here, about to turn on the lights on the VS53. Just these little pull chains. And there is your great big awesome tabletop photo studio. Now the VS53 is 53 inches wide. The reason we chose that width is because seamless photographic background paper comes in 53 inch rolls. So if you wanted to change this color, uh, say from 
um, white to gray or blue just by a roll of seamless paper. Cut off about an eight foot section. It'll fit right on here. Just put it on the clamps. This is an awesome, awesome studio. We created this table um, that is about five foot wide by seven feet deep. You need something about that size. Check out the tutorial, the demos that we did a few years ago. We're going to put that at the end of this video. Um, all that stuff still applies even though we've got the uh, superior lights on here now that are LED. So um, the My Studio VS53 is moving into the future. Uh, if you have any problems uh, or trouble with your VS53 or any other My Studio products or have questions, check out the website, give us a call. Um, but we hope you uh, have some awesome times with your uh, VS53. And we are always here to help if you get stuck or have any questions. So thanks a lot for watching and happy shooting. Thank you.